and add just a squirt of dish soap. It will kill whatever you squirt dish soap. Sort of surfactant. Bless you. And it does, uh, it, it works just like Roundup. It totally top kills whatever you put it on. If it's a woody plant, it's going to take several applications. If it's uh, Bermuda grass, it's going to take several applications. But if you just want to use something that will kill everything that's green, make your vinegar orange oil mix, and it works just like Roundup. Rinse your sprayer. You leave vinegar in a sprayer, it will eat the seals out of the sprayer, so rinse is good. <laughs> but you use that the sun? Nope. No, it's the uh, acetates and the vinegar that do the killing. But if you have a Bermuda lawn in the middle of the winter, it's to turned totally brown uh, from the frost, and you've got green weed sprouting up in it, go out and spray with vinegar and orange oil. You'll eat, you won't hurt the Bermuda at all because it's not green. So if you just hate weeds, that's the mixture to make. And it takes about 15 or 20 minutes to work. In sun, it will work faster. I mean, I've sprayed occasionally in my vegetable garden with it, and by the time I get down to the end of that row spray and everything back at the other end of the yard is just shriveling. So uh, it works very, very quickly, but I've gotten away from even using very much of that. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, corn gluten meal, uh, I'll talk a little bit about, but we're not really recommending it real highly this year for a couple of different reasons. But, uh, there are two, well, what I won't say there are two. There, we can divide herbicides a number of different ways. Some herbicides, like the one I just described to you, we we'll call a post-emergent herbicide. That's something that kills weeds when they are up and growing. The second category, when we're dividing them this way, is what we call a pre-emergent herbicide, which, as the name suggests, is put on before the weeds emerge. Now. There are chemical pre-emergents, there are natural pre-emergents. Uh, this year, I'm not really going to recommend either one for a couple of reasons. Pre-emergents, contrary to what some people think, do not kill weed seeds. They have no effect at all on weed seeds. But pre-emergents kill the little weed seedling after the seed has sprouted and started to grow. Now, corn gluten meal, which is the protein component of corn, is what's left over after they take corn syrup out of corn. But the protein component of corn, known as corn gluten meal, is a good fertilizer, but when you apply it and you have germinating seeds, it stops the seed from developing a root system, so it dehydrates and dies. Chemical pre-emergence set up a gas barrier at the surface of the soil, and when the plant tries to come through it, the gas kills it. Uh, it does a lot of other bad things, so we don't recommend those. But the problem with, well, two or three problems with corn gluten meal. Number one, it has gotten very, very expensive. Uh, this ethanol idiocy has driven the price of corn through the roof, and everything made from corn, everything that eats corn, I mean, anything that's related to corn, the price went up because of this somehow notion that we can create something that takes 49 barrels of oil to create 50 barrels of ethanol, but somehow that's supposed to be a good thing. Anyway, that's one thing that's wrong. Second thing is corn gluten meal is very high in protein, so we're selling it all to the Chinese since they got caught putting melamine and everything. Now they're going to put corn gluten meal and stuff in instead. And thirdly, it's just not going to work very well this year because we have had such dry weather We've had such highly variable temperatures that the weed seeds are not sprouting all at one time. In a wet year, I never use the word normal when I talk about weather, but in a typical year, temperature-wise and water-wise, all the weed seeds sprout pretty much at one time. So if we put our corn gluten meal out at the right time, we could stop virtually 100% of those weeds. Problem is, I guess, what's the most hated weed out there? Sticker burrs? We call them a pain in the grass. Yeah, they're a real problem. But Sticker burrs can sprout any time from the 1st of March to the 1st of August, or even 1st of September. And what happens when you put something like corn gluten meal down? Well, the soil microbes go to work breaking it down. It's an outstanding fertilizer. But four to six weeks after you put it down on decent soil, nothing's left. It's been turned into fertilizer. And so anything sprouts after that time, you're not going to get very good control. So some years, yeah, I may tell you corn gluten meal is effective to use as a pre-emergent. 
This year, I think you're wasting your time to put it on as a pre-emergent. It'll still be a good fertilizer, but it costs twice as much as this and doesn't have nearly as much good stuff in it. So that's the reason I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about corn gluten here this year. Yes, ma'am. Whole ground cornmeal is the entire kernel of corn that's just been ground up. And that's good for fungus. That is that fights fungi, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But corn gluten meal is just the protein component of corn. Another question for everyone? Yes, sir. The vinegar indiscriminate, right? So whatever you spray Non-selective. It'll right. kill whatever so you put it on. Put but it if on. it's dormant, right. you know, then it's, so it's not dormant. If you get it on a shrub or something like that while you're spraying, it'll You'll kill the kill. foliage. You won't kill the shrub because it's too woody, but you'll sure spot the foliage. How about milkweed? Okay. It'll take two or three applications, but your lawnmower is a better control on those. Oh yeah, yeah. No, on something like a flagstone patty or something, it's outstanding to use. Another common nut, uh, common weed is what is called nut grass. It's not really a grass; it's actually a sedge, and it's real easy to kill. We use molasses. Molasses creates so much microbial activity that it dies out. If you want to get rid of uh, nut grass, just mix molasses about four parts water to one part molasses. Water your nut sedge two three times with that, and it's not just going to turn brown and die. But you'll notice after a couple of months, suddenly you don't have any nut grass anymore. But it's not really grass, it's a sedge, and molasses does a very good job of killing it. Oh, yes? I have some monkey grass. And the grass. Uh -huh. that I sprayed the molasses because I did the same thing with the molasses. No, because monkey grass isn't a sedge. Monkey grass is actually a lily. Okay. Um, either, it's probably a pretty shady area. Uh, yeah. Both of them are. You probably ought to let the monkey grass take over and forget about the carpet grass. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, yes ma'am. Back to the clover and the flower bed, do you just put the compost on top of it and not dig it out? Well, in general, uh, I would just put a mulch on top of it, and that kind of brings us to our next topic, which is mulch versus compost. Mulches are things that we apply to the surface of the soil. They do a lot of good things. They act as an insulative material. The soil underneath will stay much warmer in the winter, much cooler in the summer. They act to conserve moisture and hold moisture in the soil because you don't get as much evaporation. They work to uh, retard weed growth. Mulches also will tend to slowly decompose and add nutrients to the soil as they break down. Mulches are extremely good things to use around in flower beds, under fruit trees, around shrubs and trees and things like that. But they are used only on the surface. They are, the reason for that is they are composed of a lot of organic material that really hasn't broken down too far. And if you were to incorporate this into the ground, if you were to plow your leaves into the ground, if you were to plow sawdust into the ground, if you're plow, plow, plowing wood chips into the ground, the early stage of decomposition requires a lot of nitrogen. And when those materials are up on the surface of the ground, the microbes that are breaking them down get their nitrogen from the atmosphere. Every time you breathe in and out, you're breathing a whole lot more nitrogen than you are oxygen. It's the most abundant element in the atmosphere. And the microbes can actually extract it from the atmosphere and use it. But if you till it into the ground before it's gone through its you know, preliminary primary breakdown, it's going to steal nitrogen out of the soil, so it's going to use up your fertilizer before the plants really get to it. So mulches we use on the surface of the ground. They do all these different things, and suppressing weeds is one of the really important things. If you want a really good mulch, you mix a little bit of compost with it. Now compost is just organic material that is pretty much fully broken down. And compost does a lot of good things. But a little bit of compost mixed with a lot of mulch is a great, great mixture. And if you're on a very limited budget, you can go out to the brush dump and get all the mulch you want free of charge. Um, here in San Antonio, it's out north of the airport. In Kendall County, it's out at the fairgrounds. Uh, if you happen to know a tree trimmer, tree trimmers tend to take all that stuff that's chipped up in the back of their trucks, they take it to somebody that's going to turn it into mulch or compost, and they actually have to pay to get rid of it. I've always thought that would be a great business to be in. You know, having somebody 
that pays you to let them bring you what you need as raw material to make your product. Such a good deal. But anyway, so you ask your friendly neighborhood tree trimmer to dump his load of uh, trimmings at your house for mulch. He's probably going to be happy to do it because he'd have to pay 20 or 40 bucks or something to dump it, you know, somewhere else. And that's good mulch. It's not as good as, you know, some of the mulch has been grind, ground a little bit more finely. Uh, it's not as good.